Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you guys how to export your project using iMovie, ScreenFlow, as well as Final Cut Pro X. Once you are ready to export on ScreenFlow, go ahead and go to File Export. You could save it wherever you want, wherever you want. Make sure it is on Web High Multipass. And after that, you could go ahead and click Customize, Settings. Make sure you leave everything the same and put the quality compressor all the way to best. And make sure that you are on H.264. After that, you would want to go to the sound settings. Make sure you are on AAC and your target bitrate is at 96. And after that, go ahead and click scale to custom size. Now, right there, you could put 1280 by 720p if you would like it 720p HD. And if you do want 1080p, go ahead and put 1920 by 1080. And after that, you could go ahead and simply go ahead and click export. Once you are ready to export an iMovie, go ahead and go to share, export using QuickTime. You could do these or however you would like your file to be. Go ahead and go to options. Make sure you're on, a, on H.264. The data rate is on 5000 and your image size, you could change it from 720p to 1080p HD. After that, you can leave everything the same. Go to audio. Make sure you're on AAC LC music. Your data rate is at 128 and your encoding quality is all the way to best. After that, you could go ahead and simply click, click OK and click save and start exporting. Final Cut Pro X is a bit more complex. You actually do all of your customization before you really do your editing. So go ahead and go to File New Project. Make sure you leave you leave these three the same, except for the name, whatever you want to call it. Go ahead and go to Video Properties Custom. Make sure that your format does correspond with your resolution at at 720p or 1080p. Make sure your audio and render properties are on custom, and make sure it is on stereo. And you can leave these two the same. Go ahead and click OK. Now you could go ahead and start editing and once you are done editing, go ahead and go to share, export media. You are going to click video and audio. Make sure your video codec is on H.264 and you are ready to go. Just go ahead and click next. Save it as whatever project you want to, where you want to. Go ahead and click save and your exporting will start. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave it a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe for more new helpful videos like these. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you all for watching.